Hey everybody, welcome back. If it's your first time watching the channel, my name's Chris and I'm back here at the sawmill. Um, I got the backhoe back here again today. I got it towards uh, the end of last year, like before winter kind of thing, so I didn't really use it that much throughout winter and I've never used a backhoe before, so I'm slowly uh, kind of learning the controls and everything. So as a little test for myself today, I'm gonna back it up to the pile of cedar I got here, try uh, try to see if I can pick out a couple logs with it. Uh, don't expect too much. I'm a, I'm a beginner, but I figure the only way you learn is by using it and trying to test yourself on stuff like that. So get a couple cedar logs pulled out of here with this. Uh, then I'll throw them up on the mill and see how it goes.
Well, here's the aftermath. I mean, I didn't do too bad, I don't think. I definitely messed up that log quite a bit. I, uh, yeah, dug into her pretty good there, but um, the other ones I don't think are in too bad a shape, and I got them out of the pile there, so I definitely need, uh, definitely need a lot more practice. For, uh, for a second there, I was uh, almost considering using the hoe to try to grab the log and and put it on the mill but uh i'm just let's be honest i'm just not there yet i would probably would have ended up bashing into the mill and regretting it so uh i think just uh positioning them and moving the backhoe back around putting them on the forks that was a lot safer i'm uh a lot more confident using the uh loader just from using tractors and that in the past it's kind of the same concept but the uh the hoe on the back there's different ways that it can move so i wasn't uh too confident with that so got uh got the first log up on the mill here um like a lot of cedar it's pretty tapered and whatnot but uh gonna get her oriented up on the mill here and uh get to cutting up until now i've been loading the majority of the logs onto here with just a cant hook and uh four-wheeler ramps uh, i don't mind doing it manually but I mean, some of these logs start getting a lot bigger and heavier and um, trying to get them dug out of that pile and that. It is definitely nice to have a machine like this backhoe to help you get them up on there. And plus in the future, I would like to get this up off the ground a bit higher, um, just for a number of different reasons. And uh, so getting better with the loader, getting them up on here is definitely a benefit for me, I think. two by eight so to that log they're the full two inches by eight inches so pretty happy with that well I've got a bit of a small project coming up and I'm uh, short one six by six post I think it's got to be at least nine feet long and this is almost 11 so it's plenty long enough it's plenty big enough shouldn't have a problem so that's what this one's going to go towards. I might get a few boards off it around the edges too, but we'll see. I'll get her thrown up on here and uh, see what we end up with. I always end up with the twist in it the wrong way.
Well, I guess that's why you always check. It's actually sitting good. Um, despite me thinking I would have to jack this end up quite a bit, I actually don't. I guess there's just like a big growth on the top of that end that makes it look like it's a lot bigger down there than it really is once you get it squared off. This kind of big ball here on the top won't really be doing much. This is what I'm talking about. This big growth on the top makes this end look a lot bigger than it really is for lumber purposes. Like once I get this squared off, I'll be way down here, but you can see the pith way down here. But if I slowly cut into it, you know, I might get a couple boards out of here before I even uh, get down to squaring it off. So see how that goes. Well, that is a real nice looking six by six in my opinion, cedar. So this one's actually coming with me. I'm gonna throw it up on the forks of the backhoe. And I still have this uh, two inch slab that I was able to steal off of that same log too. So I'm gonna stand it up here and uh, see what I can get out of it, either a 2x8 or a 2x6. Oh, that's not very solid. I know it probably looks on camera like I could have got a 2x8, but the round part is on this side, so that kind of shows you it would have been all bark, so decent 2x6. Now I still got this 
weird shaped thing that I'm hesitant to throw into the firewood pile because I think I can get something out of this. So I'm going to throw her up there and see what I can do. So I don't think there's anything wrong with throwing this back up on there and seeing what, what I can do. there you go I think you know this isn't up to a whole lot but I can turn that into something for sure so there's one board and then this one it's uh that's a real nice board a lot of the way down That's a real nice one by six, eight footer. So glad I didn't throw that into the firewood pile. And then this one I'll throw onto this pile here. You can probably see I got a bit of a good stack of these one inch boards coming off that I've, uh, I've kind of changed the way I do it. I like to save up a decent amount now because uh, like in my mind, when you're doing a project, a lot of the times you like to have the same width boards. So. Once I get a decent stack, I can kind of sort them and then maybe cut, you know, 10 one by sixes and 10 one by fours or something like that. And then I know I have a stack of the same uh, dimensions of lumber kind of thing. So that's the way I've started doing it now. Um, of course, there's lots of different ways. I used to, at the end of each day, do it kind of thing. But then um, I ended up uh, realizing that I'd forget you know what dimensions I'd cut it and I had a big stack of you know one by four and a half, one by five and a half, one by sixes kind of thing like I'd always try to get the absolute most uh, most I could out of each piece but then what ends up happening is when you go to do a project uh, not a big deal but a lot of the times you want the same dimensions uh, for the project you're making you end up having to sort through the pile find this same ones or maybe you don't have it and then you end up ripping it down on the table saw anyway so it's one way to do it but I think I prefer doing it this way so you just have the same dimensions and the same pile right from the get-go so that's the way I'm doing it now so well anyways the main goal for today was I wanted to get this six by six post milled up because I'm gonna need it sooner rather than later for a project that I got coming up got her on the forks of the backhoe here so that's uh, all I'm doing back here today gonna get the mill closed up the backhoe out of here and guys I really appreciate you watching thanks a lot and I'll see you next time